Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be swatching my whole entire MAC lipstick collection. And I know that MAC is not that popular anymore, but I used to be obsessed. Like every single week I'd go into MAC, buy a new lipstick, and they were my favorite lipstick formula ever. Um, I still really love them. Even though I don't buy them that often, I do love the formula of the MAC lipsticks. And there are so many, so many shades to choose from. So I've got 17 lipsticks to swatch today and I know that my lips are absolutely gonna hate me for this but I've got a few like mattes, I've got some of the creamy formula and I've also got like their lipstick, uh, liquid lipstick formula. This is like the retro matte liquid lipstick. So I'm going to get straight onto the video. I think I'm gonna go for like the, the normal bullet lipsticks first from light to dark and then I'll do the liquid lipsticks. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so on my lips, I do have the Subculture Lip Pencil from MAC, obviously. <laughs> and this is like a perfect nude shade. It's like a Your Lips But Better color and I always use this even if I'm not wearing lipstick I'll just like slap this on and it gives like a natural kind of lip color and I think that the lightest shade I have is peach stock so this is what peach stock looks like I'm going to try and swatch it so there you can see peach stock it's like a pure nude color with like a kind of peachy undertone Throughout this video, you will see that I'm not the best at describing <laughs> colors. So yeah, let's just put this on our lips. This gives like a kind of a foundation lip vibe. It's super, super light and I don't wear it that often to be honest. It is really good to mix with other shades if then like too dark or you want to make them a bit more nude. I do love to mix this and like put it on the center of the lips and it gives that kind of plumping effect. So here is peach stock on the lips. As you can see, it looks like I don't really have any lips right now. You know that foundation lip trend back in the day, like when I was around 14 year years old, this was the trend. But yeah, to be honest, I don't usually wear this alone. If you do like that kind of look, then this will be perfect for you, but it's not really my cup of tea. This is a satin finish. So it's got like a really creamy kind of feel to the lips. They are super hydrating, the satin ones, and they don't dry down matte. They have like a teeny tiny bit of shine to them, not too much, but that is peach stock. <laughs> okay, I've just put some concealer around my lips just to like kind of cancel out the natural color so you can see the true color of the lipstick. And the next shade is Myth. So here is what Myth looks like. And I'm just going to swatch it for you. Sorry about my really bad swatches. <laughs> As you can see, it's very similar to Coral Bliss. It just has a slightly more pinky undertone. So let's swatch it on the lip. Wow, <laughs> this is giving me Kim K vibes, like back in the day, Kim K vibes. This is even lighter than the other one, to be honest. Again, I wouldn't wear this by itself, way too light for my taste, but it would be good like in the center or as a lip topper to kind of like make lipstick more nude or something like that. Don't really need to say much. Again, it looks like I don't really have lips. <laughs> so yeah, that is myth. And this as well is a satin finish. So again, it has that kind of creamy formula. It applies so nicely and it's very hydrating. Just not the biggest fan of the color, to be honest. <laughs> The next one we have here is the shade Creme Cup, and this was actually my first MAC lipstick purchase. It's like a pinky, kind of peachy nude, a bit darker than the other ones. This one I would actually wear alone. So that is what it looks like. Let's do a little swatch. To be honest, when swatched, there isn't much difference, but that is creme cup there. As I said, it's much more pink and uh, a little bit darker. <laughs> so that is creme cup on the lips. Now that I put it on, it does look pretty light, but this used to be my go-to lipstick. It just gives like a nice little pinky kind of tint to the lips again it is oh no this is a creme sheen finish sorry about my really bad lip swatches <laughs> my lips are so uneven and like the further we're gonna get into the video the worse my swatches are gonna get so please excuse that that is a creme cup 
Okay, now we've got Fleur de Coral, de Coral, <laughs> which again is a pinky nude shade, maybe a bit more on the coral side and a bit like brighter than the other ones. This again was one of my go-to nude lipsticks. So that is Fleur de Coral. Yep, swatching it, you can see that it's much brighter and much like more coral and kind of a little bit neon. That is my um, description. <laughs> And that is what it looks like on the lips. This is pretty cute, I think, like for spring and summer. Oh, and this is a luster finish. This one is much shinier than like the satin ones, the first two. Glides on the lips really, really nicely and it feels super lightweight. Doesn't really feel like I'm wearing anything. So that is Fleur de Coral. My lips are already hating me for this. Right, now we're going to move into like the bright oranges and this one is the shade Coral Bliss. Looks like I was obsessed with coral lip shades. So that is what it looks like up close. Coral Bliss swatched on the arm is much darker than like these ones and it is much more coral, <laughs> like a true coral I would say. Okay, now it actually looks like I have some lips. I really like the shade. Again, I think it would be perfect for spring and summer. Like with the tan, obviously I'm super pale, but with the tan, this would look really nice, I think. And this is a cream sheen finish and it's very, very comfortable to wear. Now we have Vegas Vault, which is super, super bright. Like not like a true, true orange. It does have some pink undertones, but yeah, it looks so bright, so vibrant. And I'm really excited. I never wear this. <laughs> So that is Vegas Vault there, super bright, much more opaque than the other ones. I'm just not used to seeing me wearing a shade like this. This one is an amplified finish and it went on super opaque. It's like more on the matte side than those other ones that I tried before. And you can see that for yourself. Again, perfect for spring and summer. If I was tan, this would look much better. Um, sorry if this area is looking a mess right now. <laughs> Please excuse that. Okay, now we're gonna go into like the more brownie nude shades. So the first one I've got is the shade Mocha. And this is like one of my favorite shades. It's like a perfect nude brown shade. This one is like much more dry. I think it's a matte, no, it's a satin, but yeah, it's like kind of dragging because it is more on the dry side. But look how beautiful that shade is. That is mocha. Basically it speaks for itself. It's the color of like a mocha coffee which I really want right now, but uh, the cafes are closed, so I can't. <laughs> So this is definitely my kind of shade, a brownie nude. As I said, it's like my go-to, one of my go-to everyday lipsticks and I love it. <laughs> so that is Mocha. Now we've got a cult favorite. This is the shade Well, which is the one I was talking about that Kylie Jenner kind of made famous. And this again is one of my go-to nude shades. It's like a proper brown nude. This one is super opaque and it's not dragging at all. It's like really creamy as well. Yeah, it's got like more of a purpley brown undertone. I also have the lip liner, which is tiny. It's one of my most used lip liners. I'm not going to put it on just because I can't be bothered and I don't really want this to last that long because I need to take it off in about 30 seconds. <laughs> 
Okay, that is well on the lips. I am obsessed with this color. This is a matte finish, which is actually my favorite finish in the MAC lipsticks. Um, it's super opaque and it was actually like really creamy. The mattes last all day. You don't really need to top them up that much and um, they are super comfortable to wear. That is well. Okay, next we have another favorite of mine. This is the color Stone. As you can see, it's much darker, like kind of vampy. And when you put it on the lips, it's more on the cool tone brown side but yeah I am obsessed with this shade too let's swatch it's like a super dark cool toned brown it's not really an everyday shade but yeah it's very unique and I love it love this one I mean with a lip liner it would have like been much easier to apply but I love this. I mean, it doesn't make your teeth look the whitest because it is cool toned. I think it's such a cool color and it's a matte finish, right? Yes, another matte finish, not drying at all. And that is stone. Okay, now we're gonna go into the pinky and like purpley tones. These I do not wear often. First, we're going for the shade of, this is disgusting. I think it like melted. <laughs> Probably shouldn't put this on my lips, but this is the shade Sweet, which is like a pinky kind of purpley mauvey berry. <laughs> yeah, berry is probably the best way to describe it. Sorry, it's like kind of disgusting. <laughs> this is very, very creamy and kind of glossy. I never wear this, but I'm gonna try it on anyway. Okay, I actually kind of like it. I think I don't wear it just because it is melted and it's all like deformed. <laughs> but it does look really nice. It's very comfortable. It's a luster finish. So it's got that kind of shiny metallic look going on. I mean, it's not my favorite, but I think it is quite cute for an everyday kind of shade if you lean like more towards the pinky side. Now we've got another shade that I never wear. And this is the shade Girl About Town. It's very, very, very bright. It's like a bright pink. So yeah, that is Girl About Town there. It didn't drag at all. It was super smooth to apply, super opaque and pigmented. And yeah, I think it would be really cool for a dress up party or in the summer maybe. If you are more tan than me, I think this would look really nice. Still more on like the berry toned side, but yeah, it's a bit too bright for me. And I don't really go for bright pinks. That application went terribly and horribly wrong. That is the shade Girl About Town, very Barbie. This one is an amplified finish, again, super creamy. And yeah, these are like one of the most pigmented formulas. It went on so opaque, I hardly had to build it up at all. And that's basically all I have to say about that shade. We're almost there, guys. We've got six lipsticks to go. So the next shade is Rebel. And I really love this one. It's a super vampy, like dark purple shade. This is actually one of my favorites. Although I don't wear it that often, I really do love this one. There it is there, like, yeah, super vampy. Not the most opaque, like you do kind of have to build this one up. That one is Rebel. It doesn't come up like as dark as it, dark, at it as it is in the bullet on the lips, but it's still a really nice shade. This one I love in autumn and winter. I think it looks really cute. It's a satin finish. It does have a slight sheen to it, but it's really beautiful. So guys, my camera died, but I am back. Um, now we're going to go into like the red shades. The first one I've got is called Cockney Red, I think. Yeah. Cockney red. That is what it looks like there. It does have like, I don't know, some shimmer in it, I think. And let's swatch it. It's not the most opaque shade. It's kind of like a sheer red, but it's a true cherry kind of cool toned red. And that is what it looks like on the lips. Now that I look at it, it's not really a true red. It is leaning like 
I don't know, more on the pink side maybe. I don't wear it that often just because it does transfer and like with a red you don't really want it. I prefer a matte finish. Very, very creamy and it is that luster finish so it's got a kind of shiny look to it. But yeah, that is Cockney Red. Now we have a Viva Glam lipstick. I don't know if they still sell this. I think the Viva Glams are limited edition but this is Viva Glam 1. It is a like dark red. <laughs> I really like this shade. I think it's very glam glamorous it would go really well with a smoky eye or like a gold toned eye i love this for christmas time let's do a little swatch oh very opaque there you can see viva glam one The lip liner I would usually use is the MAC Cherry, which is a true red lip liner. It's my go-to red lip liner. So this is Viva Glam One. It's a classic red, very glamorous, as I said before, and I really like it. I think I should wear it more often, to be honest. That is that one. <laughs> Okay, so that is all the bullet lipsticks swatched and now I've got three of the liquid lipsticks. I think they are all the retro matte liquid lip colours. The first one is really beautiful. It's in the shade Cafe O Chic and that is what it looks like. It's a cool tone kind of brown. It reminds me a bit of stone but a bit lighter. It's very, very, very cool toned but it is beautiful. And there we have the shade Cafe Au Chic. Very cool toned, obviously maybe not an everyday shade, but I really love it. It went on super opaque, it's not streaky, and it's already dried down. It's been about like three seconds. So that is that one there. Now we've got a True Red Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Chateau M. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I think this might have li been limited edition. I'm not too sure, but it's a true red again, very glamorous, more on the cool tone, like blue side of the red spectrum. And that is what it looks like. It's very beautiful. Very beautiful red. Again, I'm not a red kind of person, but if you are looking for a nice red, this is really nice. When I look at it on the lips, it does actually have like more of a pinky undertone, not a blue undertone, but I really like that one. So that is the shade Chateau M. And the last shade is the Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color in High Drama. And this is beautiful. It kind of reminds me of Rebel. And that is what it looks like. Very vampy kind of dark purple. This is the only one I have a kind of issue with just because it's so dark it does come up a bit streaky. I applied it very badly but you can see the colour there. I think I would even go over it another time. I would usually use this one. It's the MAC Lip Pencil in Current and it goes so well with this lip colour. It's like a dark dark purple and that is the last lipstick <laughs> i can't believe i finished okay so let me know guys what was your favorite shade or if you have a different shade that you like from mac let me know your favorite shade and if you prefer the bullet lipsticks or the liquid lipsticks and i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching also before you leave, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. And if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I hope to see you in my next one. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye-bye.